My name is Paul Larson. I am professor of pediatrics and neurological sciences at the University of Nebraska College of Medicine. The focus of this tutorial will be the pediatric neurological examination. Well, how is the pediatric exam different than the adult exam? The adult exam is the foundation exam for the pediatric uh, examination of the nervous system. And it's not going to be the intent or the focus of this tutorial to repeat those elements of the adult exam that are similar, they're essentially the same for the pediatric neuro exam. But rather, the focus will be on those aspects of the pediatric neuro neurological examination that are unique to the child and that must be tailored to the child to be able to assess what is going on in that child's nervous system. Now, the pediatric neuro examination has to be couched in the context of neurodevelopmental milestones. And so this aspect of neurodevelopment will be an important element of this tutorial. Again, when those elements of the pediatric neuro exam are similar or the same as the adult examination, then that won't be presented here. And I would refer you to our internet site, Neurologic, an anatomical approach, to be able to see and view those elements. This tutorial will be divided into the following parts. A introduction, a brief introduction, a brief review of the neurodevelopmental anatomy, of neurodevelopmental anatomy, and then neuro, the pediatric neuro exam in representative ages from the newborn and then the infant and toddler uh, stages. Hopefully, what you'll be able to appreciate from this, this tutorial is the important elements of the exam and to actually be able to see that exam and to be able to see those parts that must be tailored to the newborn, to the infant, to the toddler, to be able to be able to truly assess what is going on as far as their neurological status. Also for the newborn exam, you'll be able to see a normal newborn and contrast that to an infant that is abnormal, that is hypotonic. So you can be able to contrast normal versus abnormal. The rest of the ages that will be examined will be a normal exam for those particular representative ages. Now there are certainly developmental aspects of examining a child that's older than two and a half years of age, but an older child can usually be uh, examined with the standard neurological examination, and that's why this tutorial will end with that particular age. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and that you find the contents useful and helpful in your assessment of the neurological status of a child.